I've said right. this before and I'll say it again. The SLVL is overrated for the hamstrings. It is not mainly a hamstrings exercise. The adductor magnus has best leverage. As you can see, the red, which is the adductor magnus, has better leverage than the yellow, which is the hamstrings, in a more flexed hip position. This is actually at 90 degrees. During an SLDL, you're usually going to go past 90 degrees, so it's going to be even worse leverage for the hamstrings. And checking out this study, you see much greater hamstrings activation during a 45 back extension, which trains the hamstrings where they have best leverage, compared to an SLDL, which has much less activation. And then don't get me started on if you turn it into an RDL by adding in a knee bend, so now you have knee extension going on, because now you're incorporating antagonist inhibition for your hamstrings, because you have a knee extension torque and the hip extension torque happening at the same time which shuts the hamstrings off if you want to better bias the upper region of the hamstrings than a 45 back extension is going to be a much better option and the sldl is going to be mainly a dr magnus with some hamstrings still and not much glutes but it's still you know great for the adductor magnus so if you want to do it for that great option